All right, I'm going to keep this thing quick and to the point. A little angry rant here that will be followed by the scriptures to prove what I'm saying in the next video, sermon after this. Um, this video here is intended to kick this Hebrew Israelite Torah observant uh, replacement theology anti Semitic movement out there. I hate it with a passion. Um, I am not attacking any physical, physical descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, the people that are here in America, the Jewish people, the people that are over there in Israel, the Jewish people. My, I'm not attacking you. Okay, you can say Yeshua and, and use Hebrew words for Jesus, whatever. If you're a believer, that's fine. That's your language. My sharp rebuke is for Gentiles that feel that they need to change English names for Hebrew names. And that's, this gives them some kind of special spiritual power or something like this. Um, I'm going to tell you in the upcoming sermon what God's holy written word has to say about the Jewish people. Point number one, the Jews are brought back to their land in unbelief. Okay, that's why they're brought back. The Jews of today reject Jesus Christ. That doesn't mean somehow, well, then that because they reject, then we can reject them. And then we're actually the true Jews or something. We'll just steal the promises. That's not what that means. Point number two, the time of Jacob's trouble is for the Jewish people and not the Christian church. Hebrew Israelite people, all these different, oh, we're the Jews, we say Yeshua, they're all posties. They're all imbeciles, right? And so they think that it's some kind of a purification time that they're going to be going into and, oh, it'll prove who's really able to survive and who isn't. Bunch of morons. Point number three, the revelation, last book of the Bible, have you read it? The revelation of Jesus Christ to the Jewish is to the Jewish people. All right? It will cause most of them to be slaughtered. That's what the Bible teaches. That's what the New Testament teaches. They've rejected Jesus Christ. So the Lord has to pour out his judgment and his wrath upon them to get them to turn from their wickedness. Another thing, because a lot of these guys are into the Patriot Movement and whatever else. America was founded by white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. Not Catholics. Not a bunch of white men going around pretending that they're Jews. White Anglo-Saxon Protestants founded this nation among whom my ancestors are included in that. All right? right here I have Ancestry.com. 14 generations back of my ancestral name, Denlinger. 14 generations of my family back to Germany and Switzerland. No Jewish blood in me, ever. To all the people out there that think I'm Jewish or whatever else, I'm not Jewish. Don't hate the people or whatever else, but I'm German. 14 generations back. Okay? Um, we go back to Germany. And we came here to America in 1720. I had ancestors that died before the Revolutionary War was even fought. That's what built this country. A bunch of white Anglo-Saxon Protestants with King James Bibles. Wanting to get away from the tyranny of the Roman Catholic Church. Point number five I'd like to talk about here in this upcoming study. Foul-mouthed, tattooed, post-trib survivalists walking around saying Yeshua HaMashiach uh, will never defeat anything. You're weak, you're powerless. <laughs> you can't stop anything. I mean, some kind of special new thing. Oh, you know, the founding fathers of this nation said Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, but now you have more power somehow by rejecting the English of the King James Bible and saying Yeshua. Bunch of nonsense. And final, the final point I'm going to be covering in my sermon is that God hates fake Jews. Has a very uh, interesting description of them. So that's going to be it for my little angry rant video here. Um... If you're newly saved, anytime you hear somebody say Yeshua, you just simply say, hey, are, are you Jewish? Are you of the ethnicity of the Jews? They say, yes, I'm, I'm in North America, but I'm a true Jew. And what are you doing in North America? You belong over in Israel. That's your land. That's the funniest, the easiest way to debunk all these Hebrew roots heretics that try to get you back under the law. I mean, read the book of Galatians. Just read the whole book of Galatians. It destroys the whole going back under the law thing. Um pretty easy and then they have to reject paul what i'm not into the apostle paul i i read the words of jesus or something <laughs> yeah okay you don't understand jesus christ either but another story but the easiest way to debunk these stupid hebrew roots imbeciles is just simply say god promised land 
to the physical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, why aren't you fighting for your land over there in Israel? And don't give me this kind of nonsense. Well, actually, symbolically, it could be North America or something. There's no debate about where Israel is. So if you're truly a Jew, then go to Israel and fight for it, okay? <laughs> but don't come here to America and pretend that you're an American patriot and yet you reject the very founding, what we founded this nation on. So that is going to be it. And uh, if you want the scriptures behind this whole thing, because I have gotten letters from people and well, could you please, you know, reconsider and I get emails and people send me all this different stuff. Oh, actually, the Jews in Israel are very wicked. They're very evil. And so that proves that they're not really the Jews. And you know, I've been dealing with this junk for years. So if you want the scriptures, uh, watch the next video. Watch the sermon. It will be called God's Plan for Real and Fake Jews. Watch that video and let the scriptures convict you. If you want to continue in your infidelity, go away. Go someplace else. And you're going to be going to hell for all of eternity if you think that you can be justified by the law. Because you can't. Alright? Watch the next video.